Inhibiting motivation is where we use the term, I can't do that or else. And what happens in, in that is we begin to build up a whole lot of IOUs. We build up a whole bunch of restricted zones. Lots of different things bother me. You know, you get those restrictive zones. And like, it's a kid will find a teacher who's got a restrictive zone and, and be tapping on their desk. And the teacher will say, who's doing that tapping? And, and then someone over here rolls a marble. And the teacher, oh, and you know, so they got all these restrictive zones. Now, some people get all these restrictive zones and they become a self-appointed, captain of the world. So everything bothers them. The captain of the world's day, you know, never ends. You've got all these restrictive zones and, and you're just, your whole job is to shape people up. Get your hands away from your face. You're going to spread germs. Uh, again, I'm doing it, I'm doing it for your good. Sit up straight, Ernest. God dang, you're going to walk like this all your life. Jesus. Stop, stop chewing that gum. Jeez. God, that just bugs me. Man, knock off the laughter, Alice. God, amen, Christmas. Uh, seeing a cap in the world, now they're, their job is done, they're driving home. And they see the same kids out in the street playing with those balls. Stop the car. Get off the damn street. Jesus, I've told you five times this week, we don't want you on the street playing with them balls. See, somebody's got to do it. Then you get home, you want to spend some time with your kids. Cap in the world, kids down watching TV. So you're going to go down and spend some time with your children. So you down and sit down with them and they're watching TV. Get your feet off the furniture. God, how many times do I have to tell you, get your feet off the, stop chewing that ice. Pretty quick you're watching television by yourself. Where did the kids go? You know what happens? People work their whole lives. They got all these restricted zones and suddenly they get the position of power. Boy, I can finally shape these things up. They'll have a hundred rules of things you can't do. Because you know what they're doing? They're trying to stop people from bugging them because all these things bother them. Pick that cup up. God dang. Jesus, shut the door. Was you born in a barn? God dang. Get, good God. Get that haircut. Jesus. And you know what happens when the captain of the world retires? Somebody fills their spot. <laughs> People love to, because they, the captain of the world don't live long, you know, and they, they're under continuous stress because everybody works around knows what bugs them. And so when they get the hostility built up, they just keep violating the restrictive zone. <laughs> God, they're doing that on purpose. <laughs> Stop chewing that gum. God. I got a really a neat lady. She's a great friend of mine, and and she uh, did 22 years in prison, and and she, but she's got all these restrictive zones. So Marjorie wanted to come down to, to Hayward and visit her uh, house. She has 15 or 20 women in this house of recovery, and so Marjorie gave me the rule book. She had 100 rules of things people couldn't do. Because everything bothered Marjorie. And so, you know, I, I said, I got tired just reading a d book. I said, is there anything that they can do? Because you know what bugs people. And your, your kids know what bug you. And so the more, Jesus, that bothers me. Oh, that's a brand new one. I'll write that one down. <laughs> I didn't know that bothered you. you know? One time back in the day, in the Federal Bureau of Prisons, they had a, uh, a rule. Now, rules should make sense. There should be some sanity to a rule. But the rule was you had to keep your top button buttoned. So these inmates, they have this one correctional officer who's got all these restrictive zones, and so one of the inmates would just tear the button off before the day started. Now if they passed one correctional officer, they'd just cover their, their now, here comes this guy's got these restrictive zones. Button that button, can't, tore it off. I mean, it lost my button, my damn button. Jesus, can you imagine going through your day, button that button, button that button. Then you get home at night, button that button. Dad, I don't even have a shirt. We implement rules that have absolutely no sanity to them, and people just violate the rule to mess up those capital worlds. 
and it causes a lot of mental problems and physical problems. <laughs> Good. So if you are a captain of the world, just turn loose of some of those things. <laughs> because otherwise you won't live long. I mean, it's just, it'll stress you out.